We have all found ourselves out of position on a golf course. Today, here at Native Oaks Golf Club on hole number 14, I'm going to show you what to do when you find yourself on the right-hand side under the trees. You know, there's some good options and bad options, so stay tuned. We'll show you how to hit it. In this challenging game, many people struggle the most with making solid contact. My name is John Gray, head golf professional at Native Oaks Golf Club and your host of the Gray Area. Let's get to it. So we're here at hole number 14. And what we found is we found ourselves on the right-hand side, just off the fairway in the rough. But if you've ever played here, you know there's some big trees, some big oak trees over here. So we're gonna have a few options. Either we can hit a ball that's gonna go underneath the trees, potentially over the trees, maybe through the trees. It's probably not gonna fork out very well, or try and go around them. So this particular one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that really a lot of this comes down to club selection and then a little bit of making a good choice. Okay, this particular one, uh, I'm here just before this big oak tree and I think most people would walk up here, look at the hole, look at the green, because you can actually see the green in this shot, but they would never look up. They would never look left, they'd never look right. They would just look at wherever the pin is and try and hit a shot towards it. Uh, so let's just assume that's what we're doing. We're gonna try and go straight at it. Now big branch in front of me so I've got to stay under it again I think most people would grab a club with far too much loft okay just for the example I pulled out a seven iron and they would try and hit this low one of the best tips I ever received from a college teammate said you know what always take less club than you think so something like this I'm actually gonna take I'm gonna take my lowest lofted iron I'm gonna take a four iron for some of you it might be a hybrid but we're gonna take something with a lo really low loft. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna play a little bit back in my stance, not dramatically, but a little bit. And I'm gonna almost try and run the ball through this little pathway I have in front of me, okay? The worst thing I can do is hit it to the right or way too far. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to this ball. I'm gonna pretend like it cannot go in the air, so I almost have to roll it on the ground. I'm gonna take my normal stance, move the ball back, maybe a ball and a half, two balls further back in my stance than might be normal. I'm gonna choke up on the club to make me stand a little closer to the ball. And then I'm gonna take what feels like maybe a, a quarter swing and follow through very small as well. And like I said, I'm trying to roll the ball, right? There's no long rough. That's actually almost on the green. <laughs> so again, just recap. You find yourself underneath some big trees in front of you with low branches. Take something with less loft than you think you need. More likely than not, you're gonna hit it too high. So take less loft, keep the ball low, and let it roll across the ground. Won't get in trouble if you do that. I hope these tips help you and we'll see you out here at Native Oaks.